This is Zach from Pretty Presets. Uh, today I wanted to do a quick video for you guys on getting your photos out of Lightroom and into Photoshop uh, and then back into Lightroom. Uh, you might want to do this if you have a particular photo that you need to do something. You need to get something out of the photo that just the simple uh, spot removal tool won't work for or maybe there's an action that you want to run on top of your preset edits. Uh, but either way, or whatever it is you want to do, um, this will be a quick and, and dirty video on getting that done. Um, so the first thing that you want to make sure that you do is confirm that you actually have Lightroom and Photoshop on your machine. Uh, this will not work if you are missing either of those programs. Uh, it should be common sense, but just in case anybody out there doesn't have either of them, this will certainly be the first step that you want to take to make sure that you don't make that mistake. So, um, the next step that we want to do, uh, I'm going to do my work with a picture of my son here. Um, that's him right there in the shirt looking like he just knocked somebody over, which he did. Uh, you get through your picture. Let's say we want to apply one of the new presets to the image. Um, and, uh, and we get through here. Let me go the whole way down. We want to apply maybe pastel film one. So we click on the, the preset or do whatever it is that you want to do to the image. Um, it will modify the image. And now from here you say maybe you want to clone out the, the little girl that's in the background right here, right? Um, so very simple to do. Uh, this does work in a PC or a Mac. Uh, I'm working on a Mac right now. You just want to right click and uh, go to edit in and then edit in Adobe Photoshop. Uh, if you don't have the uh, Creative Cloud version, which is this version, it will say something different. Uh, but you click on that, and then give your computer a couple of seconds to, to get through what it needs to get through, and you should see Photoshop come up. Uh, depending on how fast your computer is, you may or may not have this happen quickly. Um, and also be aware that if you're operating on more than one monitor, Photoshop may go to a different screen. Um, what I like to do, especially on my Mac, because of spaces, is actually pop Photoshop into a separate space, which I will show you how to do here in a second, so that I can have Lightroom in one place and Photoshop in another and not have to worry about them, uh, you know, kind of overlapping each other. So if you know how to access spaces, it's very easy. Uh, just click and drag Photoshop up to another desktop. So now I have Lightroom here and Photoshop here. Um, I use a laptop, a MacBook Pro, so I'm easy easy enough to go back and forth between the two windows uh, like so. So now we've got the photo in Photoshop. Um, this is just going to be real quick. Um, I'm just going to get rid of, I don't know, let's see what do we want to do here. Let's, um, let's get rid of this, see what this does here. Uh, let me go to fill and we'll do content aware and it's gonna fill it and you can kind of ignore this part you can do whatever you want to do in Photoshop you don't have to do that so now the uh, the little girl is out of the picture uh, and what I'll do is I'll just get rid of my selection um, I'll just deselect it uh, so now the little girl is out of the picture uh, and I have the picture that I want. Uh, so just for the purposes of this demonstration, let's say I also want to put another layer on top. Um, let's just do area and light. Um, and this is just to show you what's going to happen when you combine the layers to get it back into, um, get it back in a light room. So I'm going to select um, those, uh, whatever you want to do. So the image right now is raw. You can see it up here uh, right out of Canon. Um, so we're going to want to flatten the layers. Or flatten the image, sorry. Um, and what that's going to do is get rid of all the hidden layers. And um, yes, in case you were paying attention, I, I selected light and airy, not the black and white version. Um, so now we have this image. And you can either go to File, Save, or hit Command S or Control S and that's going to save the image as a TIFF file. And now if you go back to Lightroom, uh, you should see it say loading if you got it quick enough. And then if you look down here, uh, your file is now in Lightroom. It stores it 
side by side with the image in whatever directory you were working in. So in this case, I was on the desktop because I just did a quick import of the, the photo. But there's my image. Um, this is the original raw file right here with the little girl in the background. And this is the new image with the little girl taken out of the background. Um, and from here, you can just do a standard export however you want to do it. Um, so I'll export this to my desktop like I normally do. And now I can go to my desktop uh, and see that the new image is right here, exported as a JPEG. So that's how you go from Lightroom to Photoshop, do whatever work you need to do in Photoshop, and then get the image back into Lightroom. If you have any questions, feel free to comment on the video. Join us in the forum uh, or either of the Facebook groups. Thanks.